Well, the world of technology is fast moving and definitely very, very exciting. Well, today on the show, we're taking a look at a global initiative that sees two Cape Town schools take part in a joint science experiment with NASA astronauts in space. The ExoLab project is a live science experiment that uses the power of technology to connect learners in the classroom here in Cape Town to real researchers and scientists and astronauts on the International Space Station. Um, I Innovate is a South African-based company and we work with leaders around the world and we're constantly finding new ways to inspire and prepare students today for the future that they're walking into and to be problem solvers and innovators. So through our partnerships with Magnitude IO and the Center for the Advancement of Science and Space, uh, this program's been developed with a curriculum to connect learners to the ISS that allows students and teachers to have access to real research projects on the International Space Station um, at an affordable rate, where typically sending an experiment up there will cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. So the way that the actual experiment works is that students receive this growth chamber in their classrooms and they plant seeds into this growth chamber that is designed to capture data about the environment around the classroom. So this has is program technology that captures the temperature, the humidity, the carbon dioxide, and the light level. It also has a little camera inside that takes pictures 24 hours a day so the students can really see the growth of their plant in this chamber. This project is done in only two schools in the whole of Africa and we feel extremely privileged to be part of this. At the same time as these students are planting this experiment in their classroom, an identical ExoLab is being planted and that ExoLab is launched on a SpaceX rocket through NASA and it's installed on the International Space Station by astronauts who are up there. The way we communicate, we log onto the platform and then we are able to access data uh, from the ISS as well as around the world. We have access to, to all the data that we can compare our experiment to. And from that they can make observations and conclusions about what is helping make the plant flourish or what might make the plant fail and how would we use that information to solve some of these greater global challenges, um, which makes it really exciting. Taking part in this experiment makes me feel very happy and privileged and grateful because not a lot of schools can get this opportunity. I feel very excited being part of this experiment because this is my first time being part of a global experiment and I'm, and I'm excited to see where this is headed. It makes me feel excited knowing that we're part of only two schools doing it in Africa and um, we are getting to experience um, what happens to the plant in space, even though we're not there in life, we're just experimenting. So one of the really exciting things about the ExoLab platform and experiment is that not only are students connecting directly to real scientists and researchers, but they're also connecting to other students around the world who are conducting the same experiment in their classrooms. So students in Cape Town will be able to see an experiment that's happening in New York City or in Italy, and teachers equally are able to engage with some of the teachers from around the world to learn a little bit about how they're going about this experiment, to learn about how they have approached this problem solving or these challenges and to really collaborate and build a collective knowledge around working on science experiments in the classroom. So we're really excited about the fact that everybody's working together and that students are connecting with others around the globe and not just outside of the earth.